Hello there again, friends. Uh, Luke McDonald here with my second video diary slash journal response of the day for my pre-service Catholic education course. Uh, this one will be in response to the article uh, entitled The History of Catholic Education in Ontario, uh, which I believe is written by Mark G. McGowan, PhD at the University of Toronto. Um, I'll just preface this by saying uh, I've been in both a Catholic educator and a student all my life. I graduated from St. John the Baptist Catholic Elementary School, which I attended from kindergarten to uh, grade 8. And I graduated from Robert F. Hall Catholic Secondary School, which I attended from grade 9 to 12. Um, kind of the theme, if you will, that I took away from this reading was just how much I've taken for granted in my Catholic education uh, and the affordances and lessons that it's taught me. Um, you know, re having the chance to read over this history of Catholic education in Ontario was certainly eye-opening. And I just extracted, you know, three of the early struggles that many Catholics and Catholic educators face, it stood out to me. So, um, you know, first year was uh, under Edgar Ryerson, where uh, de denominational schools, uh, you know, he was pushed for denominational schools, and the chronic underfunding of uh, Catholic schools because of their small tax base in Ontario. Um, you know, Mark went on to say that only a tiny share of government school funds uh, were actually allocated to Catholic schools despite that Ontario's Catholic uh, population was growing rapidly. And this one really struck me home because in my experience, uh, I've taught in three Catholic schools and I've attended two in my life, so that's five in total. All of them have been very well funded uh, despite not necessarily being in affluent areas in Ontario. So, you know, to hear this kind of early struggles of the Catholic education system was quite eye-opening in that regard because as I said, every Catholic school I've been in is mounted with a smart board in every class uh, and many of the luxuries and affordances you would imagine in a high-end learning institution. Uh, secondly was the tiny township case um, where they, uh, again, bilingual Catholic schools came under attack uh, and there was these uh, terminated negotiations between Ontario Catholic bishops uh, in terms of them trying to get financial relief for their schools. Um, again, it seems that a lot of these early struggles deal with finances and uh, a lot of shady politics, uh, to my understanding. And it seems time and time again that there was a deals laid out for funding, uh, only to have them kind of swept underneath uh, the Ontario Catholics' feet at the time. And this brings me to... Um, you know, my final point that I extracted from the uh, history of Catholic education Ontario reading, and that is when the Catholic community had to rally to save its schools in the 1930s, specifically its uh, secondary schools, which I happen to teach in. I'm an intermediate senior English teacher and philosophy teacher. And it's it seems as though an individual named Martin J. Quinn, who is a Toronto businessman, um, you know, he really fought hard to organize tax uh, Catholic taxpayers uh, in order to lobby the provincial government to secure, you know, this distribution of uh, tax dollars that it needed to run its school systems. And, you know, while it seemed that there was uh, a couple of victories in this legal battle, it was ultimately withdrawn. And again, it seems in the early formation of Catholic, uh, Catholic school system in Ontario, Catholics' hopes were dashed, if I may quote Mark, they were uh, dashed. Uh, their hopes for economic injustice were basically squashed once again. So in summary, you know, just reading over just countless struggles that early Catholics had to face teaching Ontario, it really makes me feel, I think, eternally grateful for the lessons and the affordances that my Catholic education got me. Um, you know, never again will I, you know, look at my school the same way, I think, you know, to, to remember this really storied history of struggle and triumph uh, really brought us where it is today. And certainly something that I'll integrate into my you know, I'll lesson perhaps next week with my students and because I think it's something that, you know, as Catholic educators and students that we should all, you know, have a, at least a general understanding of to really appreciate uh, this rich history and again, these, these individuals and uh, groups, whether they are individuals like Martin J. Quinn or, you know, just the numerous, uh, uh, you know, Catholics who had to rally together to, you know, save the schools and their community from being terminated. Uh, so, yeah, essentially, I'm going to try to be more grateful for my education, and I'm going to challenge my students to do the same. 
because we really do have a storied history of Catholic education here in Ontario, and I sincerely hope it can continue for many decades to come. Luke McDonald signing off on Journal Reflection slash Response to the History of Catholic Teaching in Ontario. Thanks again, everyone. Have a great night, okay?